Hello friends, my name is Shashank and welcome back to this tutorial and today in this video I am going to uh, give you a very uh, interesting step-by-step uh, -step tutorial in which you will be able to create your own dashboard as you can see in your screen I have created this beautifully looking and amazingly easy to handle or easy to operate dashboard which you can create for your security control room operations if you do not have any uh, kind, any sort of any uh, sophisticated software and you just want to use excel for the ease of operations then this video is just for you right so as you can see in this video this is a, a dashboard which i have created using these multiple files and uh, these and all these files uh, uh, excel sheets contain different types or different uh, sets of data which we have collected from our daily uh, routine operations or reports right and then i have uh, calculated all these data and then i put it into these beautifully uh, beautiful visualizations right so as you can see in the top uh, layer the first top layer you can see this is the uh, annual uh, calculations for example if from the in 2022 if uh, your industry has handled 239 incidents then this top uh, label will continue to add those numbers and you will see that till now we have 239 incidents so similarly is with the surprise checks mock drill system uptime and man hours and total footfall which we have handled throughout this year and then we have total material which we have which we have handled right so this this way or this top level will give you a, a compiled uh, calculations for that whole year right so if you go down as you can see so the second layer this is your daily uh, operations your day-to-day -day calculations for example if you are looking into the saturday 26th of march so this is the calculation which will give you the daily update of that of that particular day right so if you open the dashboard and you see today is 26 you just go uh, to this tab you can just select the date from this tab or the month on which you want to see the uh, status so just uh, make the combination and the data will be displayed beautifully in these visualizations right so first uh, second layer is of your system uptime your cameras your gates your boom barriers your fire exits and then you have security vehicles and other equipments if you have in your uh, organizations and then we have the security efficacy which which means that how many surprise checks has been conducted on that particular day how many mock drills has been conducted uh, and then we have the security incidents how many incidents we handled on that particular day and we have the categories of five major categories right uh, in which you can uh, divide your total incidents then we have the security manpower how much manpower we had for that particular day uh, how much is authorized present and absent then you can just calculate and keep your uh, uh, numbers handy whenever you open the uh, dashboard and then we have the security manpower training right so training is an important part right then if you uh, uh, want to make your security functions more efficient then training is an integral part so if you have any uh, trainings planned for that day you will also see that how many uh, number of participants uh, conducted that training and what was the total number of man hours which you have spent on that day on training right and then in the last layer we have the material movement right so if you see uh, we have these material movements uh, if you change the date you will be able to see the uh, numbers here because uh, this report doesn't have the complete data I'm just giving you a demo so this is the material movement how many material we have handled uh, throughout the, the uh, whole day total material in total material out and how many vehicles are still inside the uh, uh, com uh, premises right and then we have the vehicle and personal movement four wheelers of your employees visitors or any other visits if you had on that particular day then we have the two wheeler data then we have the contract manpower how much contract manpower uh, came in and we handle that manpower through our gates right and then we have the visitor moments how many visitors uh, 
checked in and how many visitors checked out and how much how many are still uh, inside our premises so this way you can just open your dashboard and you can have a complete overview of your daily security operations and then on the left hand side i have the monthly trends of the incidents that on which month how many incidents we have handled so far so this is the monthly trends it will keep on updating and changing as you uh, update more data in these sheets right so this is just an overview you can you can customize it as per your requirement whatever you want to do whatever you want to add you want to remove it you want to uh, customize the colors uh, text everything you can do right so if you want to add another layer behind that you can add also right so just uh, this is just open uh, for your own creativity and for own your own requirements what you want to display in your dashboard right so as you can see this is pretty simple dashboard but it requires a lot of effort behind it uh, you have to put a lot of calculations use some uh, functions formulas and uh, format your data uh, in such in such a manner that it it uh, it has the consistency throughout your data right so now we will go uh, to the backend sheets from which i am uh, picking out uh, taking that data and then to the calculation sheet where we are calculating all these uh, numbers so first of all we have the first sheet which talks about the security vehicles so this is the by uh, date uh, the one thing which is consistent throughout this sheet is the date you can see the date column the number one column date and then these three columns month year and day these four columns are consistent throughout the sheet so that you can have uh, a better uh, integration between these numbers because whatever the calculations we are doing here they are just uh, controlled by these two values the month and the date so if you do not have the consistency throughout your data you will not be able to calculate your numbers uh, accurately right so then we have the system uptime in which you can see total number of cameras we have cameras which are not working and what is the camera uptime for that particular day and similarly with the gates then boom barriers emergency exits and if you have any other equipment you can create more columns right uh, to, towards the right uh, and then it will keep on uh, adding multiple columns based on your own requirement and then we have the security efficacy how many mock drills planned for that day how many we conducted and what was the overall performance right so if we had planned three we conducted two then the overall performance was 67 percent but if i change the number to three you will see the performance is 100 percent right so this is the daily performance which we are calculating here so that we can uh, make an average performance and then show it on our dashboard similarly with the surprise checks how many surprise checks we planned and how many surprise checks we conducted and similarly the performance and then the overall performance for that day we have calculated here and then we have the trainings if you can see the training name so if you want to uh, keep the consistency and you can further want to analyze your data based on the trainings which you have identified for that whole year you can keep your names consistent right for example if you have uh, identified 10 trainings which you want to give to your guards or the security officers then you can just keep your names consistent throughout this sheet so that if you want to calculate or make some visualizations on the number of trainings and number of participants per training you can also do that later on right so that is how you can calculate how many attendees training that particular training for then what was the duration of that training if it was 60 minutes then how many total man hours we spend on that particular day for training our manpower that was the four hours right so this is how you can calculate the training training man hours and then you can show that in your uh, dashboard also uh, just like that right so then we have the ACS which means the access control system in access control you can have different requirements different uh, 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 subsets or different uh, type of uh, daily operations which you want to add in your uh, Excel sheet. So I have material in, material out, balance, four wheeler, two wheeler, contract workers, visitor ins, visitor outs. So these are the columns which you can add and reduce as per your requirement. So similarly, the date, month, year, and day are consistent. And then finally, we have the incidents, right? So date, type, subtype, brief, criticality, corrective actions, whatever you want to add in the subsequent columns, you can do that, right? So if you uh, the, uh, there is one more column which is the status so if you want to uh, drill down further 
uh, you can just uh, visualize in your dashboard that how many incidents are still open and how many incidents we have closed so far you can also pick that data and show that in your dashboard right so if you see I have uh, kept these five major incident categories so that the so that I can be able to keep the consistency uh, in the data which can be used further for the visualization so the best way is to put it in the list and then the person can just drop down and select the type of incident for that particular day so if you see you can add multiple incidents or multiple data on a single date it's, as you can see i have a first april 2022 uh, i have two incidents logged on that particular day so there is no limit that how many incidents or how many data you can uh, add on a particular day so that is how you can use those single date for multiple times for the calculations right so this is how uh, the backend sheets have been uh, created and kept consistent throughout uh, these different sheets so that we can calculate so now let's move on to the calculations sheet this is a complete mess because I have created it for my my for me for my own requirement for my own purpose so I know what is happening in these different uh, columns or different rows but if you want to create for yourself you can uh, keep, give the headings wherever you want to do so that you can remember why these calculations why these calculations were made and what is the purpose of this calculation or that calculation right so you can just go and just uh, make amendments whenever you need so this is the color combination which i have used in my dashboards and the icons which i have used these icons can be downloaded or used from the insert tab go to the icons tab and then you can just use whatever the icons you want to use in your dashboard so this is just the overview how this dashboard is functioning using the different data sets uh, how the calculations have been made so if you are interested to know how to create this uh, dashboard you can just check it out the link which i have mentioned in the des description box uh, it's available uh, at a very uh, minimal price of just rupees 99 you can just compose the complete tutorial at your own time at your own pace and at, at your own comfort so that's all for today's video thank you very much for watching this video and if you have any question any doubt regarding the ms excel or any uh, dashboard related queries you can just comment uh, in the comment box and i will surely get back to you so thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel